See what it says on there, Eugene? It says a secret message. And there is a secret message on there because there's a word between secret and message. You see it? No, not exactly. Well, what do you mean, not exactly? Can you well, see it or can't you? Or you can see a little something there. Yeah. Oh, a little something. See. Well, that's because it's not quite dry, probably. But I think you suspect something, right? Mm-hmm. Have you ever done this? Well, we used to... I used to be a member of a secret code club. Ah, yes. And we used to hold these contests, and I was the champion, so they made me the judge. <laughs> what did you use as your secret ink? Um, lemon juice. Yeah, that worked pretty well. That's what I used here. Then how do you make it so it's no longer secret, or so it's visible? Well, we used to put it over a candle, and mm -hmm. it used to heat it up, and mm -hmm. the message used yeah. to be on it. That could be kind of dangerous, though. Didn't you ever catch the paper on fire? Well, no, we used to handle it very carefully. Very carefully, yeah. Well, you should be very careful. Well, a, a safer way of doing it is over here. You see that? An iron? Yes. It's hot now. I've plugged it in, so it's already hot. So you know how well you know how to make this word come out now, don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, just take the paper and hold it tight against the iron. Hot. Mm -hmm. L E. What's the rest of it? M O N. Matter, burn your finger? Yeah. yeah, you're pretty careful. So that's the best sort of everyday common material. Uh, to make the secret ink of lemon juice. But you can also try milk and uh, orange juice, grapefruit juice, sugar water. That works pretty well, too. The big question is, why? Why does it come out when you heat it up like this? Well, maybe there's some kind of acid in there, so when you heat it up, the what it you have... It color. Yes, what, what you have written over there becomes visible. Yeah. Well, but milk works, and that's not an acid. Sugar water works, that's not an acid. You're close. But it's not the acidity that does it. It's, well, tell me, you've made a piece of toast, haven't you? Tell me what happens when you make a piece of toast. Well, when you make a piece of toast, well, you can use white bread, mm -hmm. any kind of bread, and it, the toaster heats it up and it turns brown. Ah, it, it gets brown. Heats up. Yeah. If you leave it on longer? Well, it turns black and yeah. burns up. And burns up. That's what you're really doing here. When you get the lemon juice warm, it combines with the oxygen in the air at a lower temperature than the paper does. If you left it on here long enough, it would burn up, right, the paper. Mm -hmm. So if, at a much lower temperature, the lemon juice or milk or whatever it is you're using chars or changes color because it's combining with oxygen in the air. So that's the secret of how to make the secret inks come out. And here I've made one that's my favorite secret ink. You can probably see a little squiggle, but that's all, right? So later on, Start at this side, and watch, it comes through fast. You're right. What does it say in the top line? Sulfuric acid, two to one. Right, that's the best way to make secret ink, because it really turns black, doesn't it? Because mm -hmm. it chars or combines with the oxygen in the air at a lower temperature than the paper. Well, congratulations, you're still a good secret inker.